Fog Racing, back again with your FP2 recap from Saudi Arabia. And it's a very familiar front three this season. We have Max Verstappen, Fernando Alonso and Sergio Perez. But you know what we're going to do? We're going to flip it. We're going to start from the back and I'm going to discuss each driver going up and then I'll just say about what I think is going to happen. I mean, we've already done our predictions. Make sure you go check out. If you want to see FP1, go check that out. But we're going to kick off with 20th place, Valtteri Bottas just looks like another off weekend and there doesn't really seem to be a slowest car this season which is good or maybe it's yet to uh, reveal itself so who knows but yeah it doesn't look too good from Valtteri Bottas you know essentially best of the rest in Bahrain to bottom at FP2 and he was not quick in FP1 either so we can't say it's a you know, a, a bad session, uh, so to speak. Maybe it's just a bad day for Faltry. Uh, 19th with Oscar Piastri. Again, not good, but when you look how far he's off his teammate, he's only about two and a half tenths, and, you know, there's seven places between them. Logan Sargent, 18th. I kind of expect it better, but then again, his teammate's in 14th, right? And I expect it better for Williams, if I'm being honest, but I believe Albon set his lap on the mediums, and it was a weird FP2, like, no one really got any clean runs. Like, it was very, like, traffic, man. Signs seemed to block everyone. Uh, Guanu Zhou, 16th. Maybe that is where the car is, and but he's beat Bottas, so he'll be happy with that. As for uh, Kevin Magnussen, I mean, again, he's in 15th and his teammate's up in 8th. I expected the opposite, if I'm being honest. Like, I thought... I did not think Hulkenberg would be getting would be destroying Magnussen, but it's looking that way. Uh, Yuki Tsunoda in 13th again. He's beat Nick De Vries, who's in 17th. So Alpha Tari kind of just in the midfield there, there. But it's Lando Norris, decent enough for him to be P12. Uh, but as we go into the top 11, I think that's where things begin to spice up. Lewis Hamilton in 11th, five tenths off his teammates. Did not look comfortable in any session today, and the Mercedes, like, they have looked like the third fastest car today with George Russell. But I, I, if I was to, I, I would say the order's Red Bull, Aston Martin, Alpine. Now I know probably tomorrow, you know, Mercedes and Red Bull turn up the engines, but no, not Red Bull, uh, Mercedes and Ferrari. But again, it doesn't look good for either of them. And less so Ferrari. I mean, at least Mercedes have kind of written off this season. Ferrari have come out and said about Oh, once we unlock the setup of the car, we'll be right there with Red Bull and, you know, both drivers with both uh, power units replaced and it's not looking good. And that brings us to Ferrari, P10 and P9. They just don't look quick. They really don't. And again, you have to take away a pinch of salt because it only has practice, but like they're slower than Haas. And if I'm being honest, realistically, the front two re gr re uh, rows of the grid should be Red Bull, and Aston Martin, but with Stroll, I don't really know what he's going to do, as I've already spoke about Hulkenberg, but as Stroll in 7th, he did finish 4th in FP1, but here he's been outpaced by Gasly, Russell and Ocon, Alpine look very good here, uh, George Russell getting 5th, but a yeah, surprise that he's that far ahead of Hamilton, but who really knows, uh, Sergio Perez in 3rd, he looked a bit better in this session, but then kind of faded towards the end, Alonso um, was a was on was on was actually on a better lap than this, but then just at the end, just at the start of sector three, he ran wide. I believe that probably would have put him a bit closer to Verstappen's time. But realistically, folks, today was Max Verstappen's day, and he's absolutely smoked it yet again. But it'll be interesting to see what the long run says. And I, I know in Bahrain, Alonso in practice looked like he would be challenging the Red Bulls for pole, but. I do genuinely think that here he should be a comfortable third. But I guess, guys, only time will tell. I'm sure Mercedes and Ferrari will probably find something overnight and all that good stuff like they did in Bahrain. But anyway, that is it for your FP2 recap. I'll be back tomorrow with FP3. Um, and then sadly, qualifying won't be the review for it. won't be until a wee bit later that night as I've got to go to a birthday party. And I'll probably be watching the F1 on my phone at it because you know what? God damn it, I like F1, brother. But anyway, uh, leave your thoughts down below. And until next time, that is Fog Race and signing out. Check out all the cream wood parts, all the feds, all the good stuff, all the WTF1 and P1 comparisons. I like doing those sort of feds. But anyway, that is it. Hit the big red button. Hit the blue tick. The blue tick. Hit the blue thumbs, mate. All right? 
Hello and peace.